Ukraine is doing a great job, as they are able to maintain their foothold after crossing the river. It's day 491 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from the Kherson sector. As you all know, a couple of days ago, Ukraine was able to cross the Dnipro River in small units and successfully gained a foothold on the right side of the river. Since then, Russian forces have launched several attacks on Ukrainian positions, but so far all the effort has failed. Sources say, very heavy battles are taking place around the bridge. Fights are between airborne forces of both sides. If we look at the topographic map, then you can see, Ukraine has a significant height advantage on their side. And it is said they are using that height advantage greatly. They have been hitting incoming Russian reinforcements with Western artillery. If we zoom out a little bit, then you can see, this village is only connected via one road and this area is an island. So Ukrainian forces have tried to blow up this bridge and trap Russian airborne forces here, but so far all the attempts have failed. As there is only one road, they are actively undermining the approaches, so Russian reinforcements could not arrive. Ukraine's plan is to expand this bridgehead. They have been transferring reinforcements in small speedboats. In fact, they have also tried many times to cross the river in different areas, but all the attempts were repelled by Russian forces. Russia is also hitting Ukrainian positions around the bridge with heavy artillery. One source reported, Russia on one occasion unleashed artillery barrage on Ukrainian forces with the help of flamethrower. It was said the strike covered entire Ukrainian positions, and as a result they suffered heavy losses but Ukrainian sources deny any losses. Apparently Russian aviation is also working on this area, but both sides have reported their accuracy has become very, very low. Currently Russia wants to level the remains of the bridge, so Ukraine cannot use that as a CELTA. In my personal opinion, Ukraine is doing a very good job. It's been a couple of days, and Russia is not able to repel them. If you look at how Ukrainian forces are performing in an open field, where they don't have to cross any river and can have constant supply of equipment, then you can see Ukraine has done a very good job here. But it is too early to declare any victory. Ukraine can cross rivers in small boats, but crossing by pontoon bridge will be very difficult. Now moving to the southern front. There are reports of rain in different areas on the entire front, so offensive activity is limited. Starting from Vermibsky sector, after Ukrainian forces took control of the village, there are no changes around Rydnipil. They are currently regrouping and are putting pressure on Priyatny. They have launched many attacks on the village from different directions. In one occasion, Ukrainian forces launched their main push from Makarivka, and as a result it is said they made small advance. After that Russian forces regrouped and launched an attack towards Rydnipil and struck Ukrainian positions. Sources say Ukrainian forces retreated to their initial positions. Now moving to Orykiv sector. As usual Ukrainian forces have launched many small attacks on Russian positions. As per recent reports, Ukrainian forces are attacking on a broader front. As a result of many attacks, they were able to capture some positions in the gray areas. One Russian source noticed Ukrainian forces are not using heavy equipment in the attacks. Mostly they do their work from far away. In attacks they transfer their infantry on pickup trucks and return quickly after they drop them. A lot of people started saying it is because the Ukrainian forces are out of equipment. But that's not the case. It is possible that because of rain they do not want to attack with heavy equipment, or this could also indicate, these attacks are not that important, they are regrouping in the background to launch a massive push. It is most likely both, because I have received reports of deployment of many Ukrainian units around this area. Now moving to Patihatki. There are no changes whatsoever, the village is still considered a contested area. Both sides tried many times to capture it, but have failed to complete the task. On one occasion Ukrainian forces attacked with the help of three BMPs, but Russian sources reported that they destroyed two BMPs, 
and the remaining one managed to escape. Now moving to Bakhmut, it looks like Ukraine is now going to launch a major push around the city. They have transferred many units around Chesivyar and Kramatorsk. Apparently Russia launched a missile attack on Kramatorsk and struck Ukrainian forces reserves. There are reports they suffered heavy losses. Many of them were high-ranking officers and foreign advisors. Moving to Bakhmut city itself. Ukrainian forces launched an attack from the open fields towards the city. As a result, they were able to capture these open fields. Currently, fights were reported around the gray area. As you can see, they are very close to the first buildings. If they are able to gain a foothold in the buildings, then the situation will become very difficult for Russia. Now moving to northwest of Bakhmut. Ukrainian forces are attacking these areas every day. Recently a report came, Ukrainian forces launched one attack along the road, and as a result they were able to take this area under their control. Each day Ukraine is increasing their pressure around Bakhmut. It is said that a major push from Ukraine will occur soon. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.